guys hi youtube family i have to get close because i'm getting over a cold and as you can tell by my voice i didn't film yesterday because i had zero voice and now it's it's still not great but today's video is going to be kind of like a mixtape kind of thing um i don't have a lot of blooms but i have a few so i'm going to show you those i'm going to show you a little project that um um that I had fun doing to uh, showcase a couple of baby Vandas. And I'm gonna show you a couple of hauls, a couple of little things that I bought. Um, unexpected, of course, just a couple. So stay tuned. So I'm gonna start with this quiet little dendrobium that honestly, I don't know what she's called. I don't know where I got her from, but I didn't even notice how she's blooming over here by herself. She's not even in the orchid pergola. She's just kind of over here by the couch, by the pool. And that's the pool vacuum. Lovely sound. And look how pretty. I didn't even expect her to bloom. And there she is. The other one that I wanted to show you really, really quickly is this oldie, um, 30 year old or so Catlia given to me by my mom that I thought was in dire straits at one point, but now she's looking like she has a lot of sheaths and she bloomed two flowers. This one was first and it's turning orange. It started this color, but I think it's so gorgeous. I put her right here in the middle of in the middle of the action, right here in the patio. Next, I have a Mimi. This is like the third Mimi that blooms. And I wanted to give you an update on my thrips treatment. I see no sign of thrips on this one. So I think it worked. I didn't have to go for the heavy, heavy stuff. I was very vigilant and I sprayed all the new um, spikes. So I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm continuing to spray the spikes because I got two more spikes over here. I got another spike over here. And um, yeah, doing great. Another spike over here. This one, not yet. But even this one is growing something funky over here. I don't know if it's. It doesn't look like a spike. It looks kind of like a root, but it's in a weird spot. But this one bloomed over here. This one is the Ben fragrance from Bang John Orchids. The most delicious scent. Mimi also has a delicious scent, but this one is even sweeter. Delicious, beautiful flower. And another spike coming out. Amazing. Unfortunately, some of these are not ready. This one's not ready. This one's from Coral Smith. I can't wait because it has another little spike coming up. But this one is the yellow butterfly. So as soon as it blooms, I'll show you, of course. This is the fourth Mimi. Again, I'm very, very happy to say I do not see thrips damage on it. So, yep. I'm happy. I'm I'm still. I don't think I'm in the clear. But I'm looking and I'm watching. Oh, this one is high. This one was called Pachon Olivia. Pachon Olivia. And it's not even finished blooming, so I'm going to have to come back out here and show you when she's done. Oh, I see another yeah, another spike. So I think she's gorgeous with her spots, kind of purple. And then right now it's not purple and white. It's almost purple and green, really pretty. And now this one has totally impressed me. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is one called Banda Fuchs. Oh. Vanda Fuchs Harvest Moon, perfect for the season, crossed with 
Dong Chai. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'll leave that up to the the viewer to pronounce it. And it, oh, not finished blooming, but look at these colors. So fall, perfect timing because we're almost in fall anyways. That one I got from Home Depot and it's blooming for the second time with me. And my last Mimi Palmer because I bought a bundle. She's so pretty. Smells delicious. And this one from RF is not done yet, but I can show you her beginning stages. This is the third time blooming with me. Gorgeous. This gorgeous Lucinary from RF. I showed her previously in my haul. Lucinary Bluebird. Vanda Neostylus. Um, and it's the Vanda Neostylus Falcata crossed with a Ryko Stylus Celestis. Celestis. And I am learning correct pronunciation. Thank you, Tom. Yes, thank you. Look, and I wanted to show her again because Look at the lip, the labellum is so much darker than the last time. And she smells now even sweeter, more in the morning. She smells in the morning, but it's just fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely scent. So guys, yes, I actually had to take a trip down there to Bangjong and I got this lovely, my, la my pink one, got thrips so I thought you know what I need to replace her look at how gorgeous the colors are a little different you can see spots I mean she's not even finished blooming but I couldn't wait look at how gorgeous she is and of course one of Bang John's famous pots I love to get the Vandas in this pot I'll show you her name mm-hmm Yes, that's another one I'm gonna let you interpret for yourself. But look how gorgeous. I will show her again when she finishes blooming. And that is it. That is all I have in bloom. That is all. I think I have a dancing lady way over there in the tree, but you've seen her before. Now I'm gonna show you my quick little haul. Well, this is, this is part of the haul, but it's a combo, blooming and haul. So here is one um, that I got just today. Wasn't planning on getting her, but the tag, I'll show you what it is. And I know I have to do my nails. I have to do my manicure. So it's RL Seaports of Paradise crossed with RL Digbiana Green. So when I saw Digbiana, I said, okay, that's going to be gorgeous. The green color is going to be gorgeous, I'm sure. I have another one that's green, but I don't think it was crossed with Digbiana. So I said, let me give it a shot. And these, it's a bag baby. And I know I have I have um I have the office fair coming next weekend. So, you know, I was saving up for that. But this doesn't count because I went for um hooks, you know, to hang and then these jumped in the cart and that's what happens. So yeah, look, this is new growth. And when you look in here, this looks so promising. It looks like Possibly, maybe in the near future, she might bloom. Everything is healthy. I'm going to clean her up. And I'm going to follow what I said I was going to do, which is not immediately take her out of here. Spray her down with my um, insecticidal soap. Make sure that she is clean before I mix her with the others. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with her. 
I love how her leaves are so strong and there's new growth. So, I hope, I hope it was a good buy. You know, I don't think you can beat it for the price, even while I'm in my experimenting stages. Um, and I was at another nursery. I really was. I was looking for a greenery plant and I was at another nursery and I saw they had a cavea and it wasn't in bloom anymore, but it was still $55. And I was like, I don't even know what she's going to look like. So for that, I get her from Home Depot that's only $16. And we'll see what happens. We can grow together. So one more thing. Since I love Vanda's, Look how big. This is the bag baby, guys. Bag babies come with, they, they have little cattleyas, little dendrobiums, little encyclias. What else do they have? Well, little vandas also. Before my voice completely goes, I wanted to show her because I don't have a white vanda. And even though it doesn't look exactly like this, but when I googled the name, which I will show you, okay, Vanda Mueng Song, Song, okay, I'll leave that for you. <laughs> the names of these plants this time around have been very comical, so. The only bad thing about getting the Vandas from Home Depot, which of course, when you're used to getting them like perfection from Bang Jong, you kind of eh, cringe when you get them like this. And a lot of the roots are dry. But, and then you gotta get the hanger and hang them. But I see, I picked this one because it has a lot of good roots. So I'm gonna soak her a little bit. I'm gonna see which roots are viable. The ones that are completely charred to a crisp, I'm going to cut them off and I'm going to try this out because I thought, wow, for a bad baby, she's pretty large. So I'm going to take my chances on this. And that's it, guys. That's all I got. That's all I got for you. Um, update on the thrift situation. I think I've got it under control. I hope I, ooh, ooh, where are you? I think that's a frog right there. I hear it, it's right there. Okay, sorry, did I wake you? <laughs> Anyways, so I think I have it under control. I, I believe I do, I feel like I do. I've been coming out here, even though I've been sick, I've been coming out here. And I don't know if you could tell, well you can't tell, but that sliding glass door. That sliding glass door is actually my bedroom. So I'm constantly peeking and looking. That that door over there goes to my cabana bath. So I'm constantly coming out here to see what is going on and um, looking very closely and carefully. And I learn a couple more things. Every time I think I know what's going on with the thrips and the pests and the this and the that, I learn something new and I guess that's that's the name of the game, I guess, when you're starting a new hobby, a new obsession. I think I can call it an obsession, at least for me. It's not just a hobby. I am obsessed with my plants. I want to come out all the time and make sure, um, you know, and if I don't get time in the morning, which is really rough because I'm a teacher and I have to get off to school with the kids quickly. Um, we have to leave like at 6 45. if i don't have the chance the chance to come out in the morning and at least take a peek at how everybody's doing everybody how all of the plants are doing i feel a little antsy like i, I don't know what's happening so I, I i give myself at least 10 minutes um earlier and i come out give myself 10 minutes leeway so i leeway so i can come out and at least just give it a once over so I guess it's something that you have to do. Um, you can't just ignore them for three, four days. At least I don't think I can. I think that um, in the beginning stages and I'm learning. And one of the main things that I'm learning is that if you don't look at them every day, so
something's going to go wrong. It's like Murphy's Law. You're not paying attention, something's going to happen, and everything spreads. Spreads like wildfire. So I am making sure I see a spike. I see a little spike. Oh my goodness, could this be? Is this a spike? Hmm. This is my Catatonia, why not? Well, yes, I believe, I believe it's a spike. Oh, I see another spike. Oh my God, this is a big spike. Yes, I think I had seen this one. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I hope you can see. This is my why not? No, it's not my why not? This is my spotted charm, BLC spotted charm. Look. I love the color combination and the spots. It's like pink and green and spotted. So that's why it's called spotted charm. But anyway, I totally went off on a tangent and I don't even remember what I was saying except for you gotta come out and look at your plants all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna cut it right here, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for putting up for with my voice. But this is my favorite time to come out here. I wish I could come out here all the time. It's about seven o'clock. My tripod. But um, the sun is setting and now it's bearable. It's not scorching hot. Unfortunately, sometimes I have to come out at the crack of dawn and right after school, but it's okay. Anyways, thank you for joining me again. I hope you like and subscribe. I have an Office Festival coming up. That's happening next week. I'm gonna try to put the information right here next to the mess. I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can have an idea of who the vendors are gonna be. And if you live in the area, you need to come on out. You need to come out and check it out because every time I go there, I try to just go and film, but no, I end up going and shopping and finding beautiful, beautiful finds. I'm actually excited. I'm excited to see a couple people. I'm definitely excited to see um, Josh from the Orchid Den because he has some new creations, little cafecito cups that you can't miss. They're adorable. I'm definitely gonna try to get me some of those. Um, he also has great plants, so I'm also planning to shop my last Hall was um, from the Orchid Den. Remember that white um, Catlia that was gorgeous. And I want to see Roxy from um, Orchids 365 so I can get myself another little mount because they are gorgeous. And I think the Hoya girl is going too. And I've forgotten her name, but I think it's Mikasa, something like that. Mikasita, something, but she has all the Hoyas. And I'm starting to get the itch for the Hoyas as well. And who else do I want to see? Well, all the normal, of course, Crawl Smith and all the normal vendors that they have. They always have Judelis and she's awesome. She, she's one of my first places that I visited and um, got a lot. She has a lot of dendrobiums that are fantastic. I also got my mini cat that was my first. I got two from her. Yeah. Anyways, and of course, I need to get, I need to talk to Carlos because where else can you get free advice on how to take care of your plants if you have a pest, if you have, if you need fertilizer advice or whatever, where else can you get that information for free? Nowhere else but from Ophis. Carlos himself will help you out whatever you need, okay? So, thank you for joining me. I know I'm missing somebody else I wanted to mention. I don't know. I hope I find Mr. Nature Nell because it's always a lot funner when Nature Nell is present. So I'm going to try to get a hold of him so we can meet up and have some fun. Yay. How exciting. Anyways, so I will get back to you soon. I think that I'm going to put my orchid count video next and um, my little project. I'm going to hook it onto this one so you can see. So tomorrow, stay tuned. I'm going to put those up. Bye.
Thank you.